Hello everybody, Kurt Rush here, and thanks for joining me on One Shepherd. So today we are continuing our reading of the Old Testament book of 2 Kings, chapter 13. In the 23rd year of Joash, the son of Ahaziah, king of Judah, Jehoahaz, the son of Jehu, became king over Israel in Samaria, and reigned 17 years. And he did evil in the sight of the Lord, and followed the sins of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, who made Israel sin. He did not depart from them. Then the anger of the Lord was aroused against Israel, and he delivered them into the hands of Haziel, king of Syria, and into the hand of Ben-Hadad, the son of Haziel, all their days. So Jehoahaz pleaded with the Lord, and the Lord listened to him, for he saw the oppression of Israel, because the king of Syria oppressed them. Then the Lord gave Israel a deliverer, so that they escaped from under the hand of the Syrians, and the children of Israel dwelt in their tents as before. Nevertheless, they did not depart from the sins of the house of Jeroboam, who made Israel sin, but walked in them, and the wooden image also remained in Samaria. For he left all of the army of Jehoahaz only fifty horsemen, ten chariots, and ten thousand foot soldiers, for the king of Syria had destroyed them, and made them like the dust at threshing. We have a word study here. The word is anger. The Hebrew word is af, and it's Strong's Concordance number 639. Depending on the context, this word signifies either nose, nostril, or anger. This term occurs about half the time with the words referring to burning. Thus, these figures of speech typically depict anger as the fierce breathing of a person through his nose, a burning nose. Most of the references describe God's anger. God is said to be slow to anger, but can be provoked into exercising judgment. He is compassionate, but his wrath is reserved for those who break his covenant. Although God's wrath is righteous, human anger is almost always evaluated, evaluated negative terms in the Old Testament. Continuing with verse 8, Now the rest of the acts of Jehoahaz, all that he did, and his might, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel? So Jehoahaz rested with his fathers, and they buried him in Samaria. Then Joash, his son, reigned in his place. In the thirty-seven years of Joash, king of Judah, Jehoash, the son of Jehoahaz, became king over Israel in Samaria, and reigned sixteen years. And he did evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not depart from all the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel sin, but walked in them. Now the rest of the acts of Joash, all that he did, and his might with which he fought against Amaziah, king of Judah, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Israel? So Joash rested with his fathers. Then Jeroboam sat on his throne, and Joash was buried in Samaria with the kings of Israel. Elisha had become sick with the illness of which he would die. And Joash, the king of Israel, came down to him and wept over his face and said, O oh, my father, my father, and the chariots of Israel and their horsemen. And Elisha said to him, Take a bow and some arrows. So he took himself a bow and some arrows. And he said to the king of Israel, Put your hand on the bow. So he put his hand on it. And Elisha put his hands on the king's hands. And he said, Open the east window. And he opened it. Then Elisha said, Shoot. And he shot. And he said, The arrow of the Lord's deliverance, and the arrow of deliverance from Syria. For you must strike the Syrians at Aphek till you have destroyed them. Then he said, Take the arrow, arrows. So he took them, and he said to the king of Israel, Strike the ground. So he struck three times and stopped. And the man of God was angry with him and said, You should have struck five or six times. Then you would have struck Syria till you have destroyed it. But now you will strike Syria only three times. Then Elisha died and they buried him. And the raiding bands from Moab and 
invaded the land in the spring of, the, of that year. So it was, as they were burying a man, that suddenly they spied a band of raiders, and they put the man in the tomb of Elisha. And when the man was let down and touched the bones of Elisha, he revived and stood on his feet. And Hazael, king of Syria, oppressed Israel all the days of Jehoahaz. But the Lord was gracious to them, had compassion on them, and regarded them because of his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and would not yet destroy them or cast them from his presence. Now Hazael, king of Syria, died. Then Ben-Hadad, his son, reigned in his place. And Jehoahash, the son of Jehoahaz, recaptured from the hand of Ben-Hadad, the son of Hazael, the cities which he had taken out of the hand of Jehoahaz, his father, by war. Three times Joash defeated him and recaptured the cities of Israel. That's it for our reading of the Old Testament book of Second Kings, chapter 13. As always, we pray this has been a blessing for you. Please take a quick minute and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Also, be sure to check out our other videos that are on screen now. May you have a great day, and God bless.